The problem reads, find an equation of the line P with directional vector R that passes through the point P. And then find point T on this line with Z equal to 1 if such a point exists. Let's first see that this is enough information. So bring up our three-dimensional graph. And here's the point P at 3, 0, 2. Then let's draw the directional vector r. Let's first draw the point, minus 1, 1, minus 2. There it is, minus 1, 1, minus 2. And then the directional vector, so that's r. And what we want is an equation for the line parallel to r that passes through p. So we're looking for an equation of this line. There are infinitely many equations of this line. We're going to find one of them. For this particular problem, we're going to find the parametric form of the line, that is, this form of the line, where x0, y0, and z0 comes from the point P, and comes from the point P, and rx, ry, rz comes from the directional vector. So what would we have? We would have P equals, and we have x equals, y equals and z equals and then let's pick up the point so 3 0 2 and then we would have minus 1 times t from here plus 1 times t and minus 2 times t so we get x equals 3 minus t, y equals t, and z equals 2 minus 2t. That is an equation of the line p. And so now we're going to see if we can find a point t on this line. So here t is with z equal to 1. On the other hand, z must equal 2 minus 2t. Is this enough information? I can substitute z equal to 1 here, find t, and then find the two other coordinates, x and y, using that t. So together with these two things, let's, we'll write an and here, we have 1 equals 2 minus 2t, or minus 1 equals minus 2t, so that t equals minus 1 over minus 2, or t equals 0 0.5, 1 half. So we get t equals 1 half, and now we substitute in to get our point. This means that x equals 3 minus 0 0.5 equal to 2.5, and y equals uh, t, so that's 0 0.5. So what are the coordinates of t? t is 2.5, 0 0.5, and the original 1. And this is the answer to the second part of the problem. Let's see that we get that point on the graph. And so we have 2.5, and then 0 0.5, and then 1. So t should be right about there. There's t, and let's see what that means, that z equals 1. z equals 1 is, is the horizontal plane, so let's put that plane in there. there. This is the plane z equals 1, and now let's rotate this so we can see that it is indeed z equal to 1. It is the point where the line meets the plane z equal to 1.